Hello everyone and welcome back to art class. Woo! My name is Miss Howard and today we're going to mix our last color of the color wheel. We started off with the red, the yellow, and blue and then we mixed yellow and red and created these fun orange pumpkins. And last time we mixed our yellow and blue to make this really cute green apple right before it's about to get dipped into that candy coating perfect for this fall time of year. So today the only color we haven't mixed yet is our violet or purple color. And personally, I love grapes. I love the green ones and the red ones and the purple ones. I love them all. And grape popsicles, grape juice. You just can't go wrong with that deliciousness. Okay, so let's start with our blue crayon. Go ahead and get your blue crayon ready. So open that bag, pull out your blue crayon, and hold it up. Remember, we don't yell out, I'm ready. We simply hold up our crayon, or we can hold up a thumbs up to show the teacher we're ready without having to yell across the room. Let's start by warming up our little circles. And in fact, we're going to do lots of circles because grapes come in bunches. And like the pumpkins, the grapes will grow on a vine. Remember, the green apples grew on trees. Not grapes. Grapes like vines. And so there's going to be lots of twisting and twirling going on. So, let's start with our circle up here at the top. One. With our blue crayon. Then coming out of that blue circle, you're going to do two lines. And connect it. Next, we're getting that loopy hand going. Because, like I said, this grape grows on vines, and vines have these little twisty things, part of the vine, that grab onto stuff and climb up stuff. And that's how the vine is able to go up and across fences or other bushes around or across the ground. Get that circle going, and I want you to touch this circle and make another circle sticking out. Very good. Get that circle warmed up, and do a third one. So that's one, two, three. We're going to keep going. Like I said, lots of these. Alright, I'm going to do a circle over here. There's four. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to do one down here. Five. Ooh. It's getting big numbers here circle here, six, and I think I can squeeze in two here, seven, another one here, eight, ooh, should we go for ten? Nine. And 
in. There's our grapes. Yay! Woo -woo, show your paper to your teacher. Your teacher's going to give you a thumbs up if you're on the right track. Okay. Let's put that blue crayon down and get our red one. Now we're going to do something a little different. We're going to switch these things around a lot. So stay with me. Start with my red crayon and the first one. I'm going to color it red first. Nice and slow. Around and around. And then take the blue and go on top to make my purple. There's my violet, my purple color. Right there. And now we're going to do the opposite and see if it changes. I'm going to do it on this one. With my blue crayon, I'm going to find another circle and I'm going to color it blue. Nice and slow, so I stay in my circle. Okay. Change to red. And put the red on top of the blue. Oh my goodness, I have two different colors of purple. One really is the violet color, kind of a red, reddish purple, and the other one is more like an indigo color. Well, let's see. While I have the red, I'm going to do another red one. And change to the blue. And do the blue on top. Ooh, it turned out different than the other. It's kind of, it's close to this one. Okay, so I find another circle. Let's start with the blue again. Do my blue. And change to the red. And put the red on top. Stay inside your circle. We want these to look like grapes. Isn't that strange? It's the same two colors, but we're getting different purples simply by putting one color down first. Alright, and I put red on my next one. Sorry, I got ahead of you guys. I was multitasking, talking, and coloring. And you know what to do. Red and blue make violet. Ha ha ha. Red and blue make violet. And blue in my next circle. And red because blue and red make violet red and blue make violet blue and red make violet red and blue make violet blue and red make violet okay let's find another circle remember we made ten circles so we have to color 10 circles, not scribble scrabble like they're one. Remember, we're changing colors. This is red and blue make violet. Red and blue make violet. Blue 
blue in my circle. And red on top. Blue and red make violet. Blue and red make violet. Two more. I'm going to take my time and color it in nicely. Then change colors to my red and blue make violet. My red and blue make violet. And last but not least, my last number 10. Blue first. Red on top. Because my blue and red make violet. My blue and red make violet. My blue and red make violet. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. We have a few moments, so let's do this. Let's see if we can squeeze in one more set of grapes. I'm going to do a blue circle. Because remember, I like green grapes too circle. There's three. Four. Five. And I think I'll add a small one at the end. Just do a small bundle. Small little bundle of grapes. Go ahead and add my stem. And get my curly, loopy line going. Loopy, loopy, loopy. To create the vine. And remember, to make green, we're going to need what two colors? Blue and yellow to make green. So when we did our apple, we started with the yellow. We'll fill in one of the grapes with yellow first. And then we put the blue on top to make the green. Well, since it changed colors here, let's switch it. Let's start with the blue. First, and then take the yellow and put it on top and see if we get two different colors of greens. Oh my goodness. Look at that. We have two different colors of green. Oh, let's try that again. Yellow. And the blue on top. And let's start with the blue. Because remember, blue and yellow make green. Blue and yellow make green. I'll put the yellow on top. My goodness, these greens just keep changing colors. Very carefully color. Very carefully color inside my circles. Circles are hard to color. Does blue and yellow make green? Blue and yellow make green. And so once again, blue and red make violet. Blue and yellow make green. And if you remember what two colors make orange, 
we did our pumpkins. We added the red and the yellow to make orange. And now we know we can kind of switch up which ones we put first and we get different greens and different purples. It's like a science experiment. Oh my goodness, we're learning science and art. How super cool. Or are they learning art and science? In any case, this is super fun. I hope you enjoyed mixing all these different colors. Let's get ready next time to create new and wonderful artworks. I look forward to the next time we get to do our art. Bye!